Hey, welcome back everyone. Ed and Kathy with Up North with the Nybergs. Uh, today is Mother's Day. It's May 9th, I believe, and it's really kind of chilly today. It's, uh, I think it's in the mid 40s. And we had a, we were going to get these today, we're planting blueberry bushes, and we were going to get those done a couple of weeks ago because the weather was decent, but unfortunately it got really, really cold. And we are getting lows in the 20s and wherever you're at you're probably experienced some of this cold weather as well and it's not going to be that warm for the rest of the week but we decided to take advantage of this night decent weather and get these blueberries in the ground here uh, as well we don't have any frost freeze warnings this week and then next week looks like it's going to actually start warming up but that's what we're doing today i'll uh give you a little more in insight as to what we're doing and how we're preparing this soil if you watched the previous video, uh, we talked a little bit about it, but we really didn't get into much of the details around uh, the soil composition. So we're gonna spend a little bit of more time talking about that as well, and what we used and, and what we're, uh, how we're getting that soil composition where it needs to be based on what the farm where we bought these blueberry bushes told us to do. So, uh, so in any event, uh, stick around and uh, watch Watch us as we get these blueberry bushes in the ground. All right, looks like we got two of them in so far here, and I'm gonna let Kathy explain a little bit. I I know that we had to dig around these about three feet, right? And then three feet down? Right. Yeah. And, and then we just mixed... Um, wood chips? Wood, wood bark. Wood bark. Or it was pine bark. Yeah, I've got pictures of those that I'll show. And then also phagnum moss. Yeah. And then a little sand kind of like 30% of each and then backfilled it and then just tried to get it up a little bit above but kind of a mound a little I'm not sure we did enough but. yeah and one thing that they did tell us is these have to be three feet across so we've got room for one more here and then three other ones in this particular row and then we should be good to go and why did we choose these to to start off first because the weather is going to be a little bit cold and it has been cold is it they're more hardy? Yeah, they're uh, for our zone. 
I think yeah. they can go down to zone three, and we're between five and six. At, or some of them can go between three. You can see some of them actually are starting to bloom here. So that's a good sign. Hopefully, when I show these to you next time, they won't be all dead. <laughs> it is supposed to get cold no, tonight. Yeah, so the or last thing we did, sawdust, we're putting, chips. you can put wood chips. We had a lot of sawdust because we have an area where we cut wood. And this is at least a year. Some of it, this darker colored stuff is probably two to three years old. And But they do recommend you at least have the wood chips be at least a year old so they can start to decompose but that's it uh, we'll uh, keep you abreast of uh, how these are doing and when we get the other four planted all right as always if you like these videos be sure to hit the subscribe button if you have any questions or comments or anything that we may have missed or you have additional questions on please let us know as well uh, but be sure to s share these videos with your friends and family it really does help out the channel we're a new channel we're really trying to talk about rural living and, and what it's like to live out in the country and uh, it's a lifestyle that we really really like and hopefully you do too we're assuming obviously you found our channel so uh, make sure you do subscribe and until the next video We'll talk to you soon.